Hello, my name is Matias Sanchez. I will be presenting today uh, an integration work on uh, magnetic and LIDAR data from the JP Ross Henderson uh, district. This is part of the White Gold district um, of, in the, in the Yukon Tanana um, terrain. So that's the, that's the, the area there. Um, you can see the, the, the black box that is showing the JP Ross Henderson um, district. It's located about 20 kilometers north of the Golden Saddle deposit. And uh, the Golden Saddle deposit, it's got characterized by principally um, orogenic type gold. Um, a system of about 160 million years in age. And, uh, but the area is also um, host a series of uh, deposits of other ages and styles. Um, the orogenic gold systems um, younger than that in the, in the coffee area, it's about 110 million years, but there's also porphyry style systems in the, in the early Jurassic and in the late Cretaceous. Mm -hmm. Um, so we are most, most interested in focusing in that middle to late Jurassic stage, and that's the age where um, the uh, collisional event occur um, and accretion of the intermontane terrains towards the North American margin. So that's the, that's the area uh, of the, that's, that's the district area. So you can see it's composed, uh, it encompasses a series of other of a series of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, other projects. Uh, we've got the Titan, the Sabotage, Fright, Frenzy, X-Men, Vertigo Topaz. It's overall, it's, uh, it's about 1400 square kilometers, um, about 39 by 36 kilometers. So it's, a, it's a quite a big area. And it hosts a, a series of, uh, of, of different mineralization styles. And uh, so, there's only about 1% of outcrop here. This is very much covered. And we do, we started this work by having a, a, a geological map that has been developed by the company throughout the years. Um, you can see here in, in reddish colors, it's mainly nace, uh, nace rocks. And then in the, in the more um, gray here colors, it's basically schist, schist uh, rocks. And in, in green, you can see this is the youngest units. This is the Karma Volcanics. Um, sitting in the northeastern part of the of the district, so um, we also started by 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 having this uh, this structural systems here. As over the years, um, they have uh, mapped northeast trending uh, a series of northeast trending faults, which are the youngest faults, which cut across these west northwest trending fault systems. So what we wanted to do with this work is refine these structural maps and by using the LIDAR high resolution um, topography, using the, the LIDAR data uh, in combination with the magnetics. So we have a air, air magnetics uh, covering the whole district. And on top of that, we have a local high resolution ground magnetometry in, in, in most of those um, uh, local projects. <clears throat> So the first stage in our interpretation is to look at the MAC. We utilize a series of filters. Um, we didn't use inverted data. We simply used the, the, the potential grids uh, data sets here, looking at plan view data sets and, and mainly at um, utilizing the reduced to the pole grids. Um, but on top of the, that, we applied a series of other filters, uh, the classic vertical derivative filters, the horizontal grade magnitude, gradient magnitude filter, um, and a little signals and so on. So these are very, pretty much very standard, standard filtering. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see there, this is it's already very, very noticeable how we have a high amplitude or high intensity um, zone into so the Southwest, a more choppy area here in the center where the x man is located, that is correlation, that, that correlates very well with the Carmax volcanics. And then here in this area, in the center of the, of the, of the district, we have a more um, smooth, um, mid intensity region um, that is basically being um, cross cut by this uh, linear, um, very linear, um, high magnetic uh, um, structures. So we start by tracing those first in, um, first order lineaments, um, as you can see there. 
and the correlation um, is it's it's good with the with the original map. We have a series of uh, what we believe is uh, the older systems, which are thrust related. So this north northwest trending black lineaments that you see there, this uh, we interpret that as as thrust faults, and that plays in contact different um, lithologies, uh, a more mafic lithology in the hanging wall versus uh, more um, let's say low intensity, low mag intensity units in the foot wall. Um, and that is being cut through west-northwest trending to northwest trending uh, fault systems. Um, and lately, by a younger northeast trending there, uh, you can see in purple lines. So those are our first order lineaments, and that's what we normally do. We, we classify those lineaments into different orders. So the big scale, the principal ones, we turn them as first order lineaments. Uh, we, we, we also trace um, the fabric of the magnetics, so looking in detail at those uh, local lineaments and trying to understand that in respect to the bigger structural framework, and that's what you see there. So, so the fabrics are commonly related to the schistosity of the nace and the schistosity in, in, in the schist. Um, as we and as we can uh, has uh, been able to prove in the in the field, this this works very very well. Um, that's the Carmax Volcanics there in the northeastern part. That's uh, the why the the magnetic is a little bit more choppy. There's more um, there's more variability there, and we also utilize the magnetometry to try to refine our geology. So um, we can separate here and make an interpretation in terms of rocks which are more felsic or more mafic and then utilize that um, to create a, the, the new polygons and then to correlate that with geological units. That's what you see there, there in green again, um, the northeastern part, that's the Carmax Volcanics. Then we have these more mafic units in the southwest which are sitting in the hanging wall of that thrust. And then um, a series of uh, Let's see, uh, this area in the center, which is uh, a bit more uh, challenging to interpret in terms of lithologies. Um, and then the series of structures, which some of them are hosting uh, mag destructive lineaments and, and, and some other ones, um, um, uh, mag addition along those lineaments. And then we're going to look at that into, into further detail. So we can also work here with the, um, with the cross cutting relationships. Um, you can see that most of the north west northwest trending faults are cutting across the thrust, as you can see in the in the in the map to the left. Uh, we can also put some numbers on those apparent fault offsets. Um, in that case, we have a nearly 2,000 meters of offset of apparent offset um, of that thrust north northwest trending thrust, and then that those three those two fault systems or um, the northwest thrust systems and the west northwest are cut by northeast trending um, lineaments uh, slash faults, mm -hmm. um, and they, we can also look at those offset as well in that upper offset. Mm -hmm. So that map reflects those offsets. We can put some numbers on that, and the gray polygons around those uh, lineaments show basically the amount of the amount of offset that we can measure on plan view from these major faults. Um, and we we got some very big ones um, uh, accumulated or accumulated offset in terms of uh, in the order of uh, 1600 or 1800s here in the in that in that fright zone and the Rebecca zone. Um, the Francis zone, the Topa zone, they're all over, over 1,500 meters of, uh, of apparent plan view offset. And that's the finalized map. That's uh, this, the map purely constructed um, on the with the integration of, of magnetometry and, um, and the geological maps. You can see there's quite a lot of detail. We have first order faults, second order faults, and third order faults, plus the the, 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 the background um, fabric, uh, which correlates to the schistosity. We also have um, the, bread, the red uh, polygons here reflect what we think are intrusions. So we can have a, we think we also have a series of intrusions mainly accommodated. Some of them accommodated by this Northeast trending fault system, the fright fault zone, we call it. And, um, and then um, we also have we also have mapped the areas of mag magnetic destruction along the main fault zones. That here you can see them in light blue. Mm -hmm. Then the next stage of the interpretation is to integrate um, uh, the lighter data set. We have detailed topography in 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 about a third of the area, and there you can see uh, um, some of the filtering that we do with this data, and it really shows very nicely um, those uh, linear features. Eh? 
We use a classic shaded relief, uh, slope maps, and um, mainly uh, processing in, in, in a grass, grass, uh, in grass software. Um, so we'll look at this, and then again, we see a very similar features that we see in the magnetics. Um, we, we, we tend to see, see quite a few cross-cutting uh, uh, cross relations and fault, uh, fault intersections, and this is where we're going to focus as a, as, as a targeting and exploration. Uh, so this is a, a close-up of the Henderson Creek area. This is one of the most prolific plasters um, in the area. And you can see this has two big structures running right in, in the north, a northern uh, slope of the creek mm, um, in, in a northeast orientation. And then this, uh, there's also this northwest training structures which just cut through. Mm. So there's a nice false intersection along the Henderson Creek. It correlates very well with it, with the MAG and the, and, the, and the topography. That's another example of the use of the, of the LIDAR. And we can also even um, uh, look into the deep direction of some of these uh, faults uh, by using, uh, utilizing the rule of these. And we can, we can know now how these uh, structures may deep, um, the deep amounts. And then the next stage in the interpretation is to correlate um, or basically integrate both techniques. No? So we're utilizing the LiDAR to the left and the, in the left of your screen, and then the magnetometry to the right. You can see that this, the, the correlation is excellent. Uh, so we have faults like this one that goes into the frenzy mm, intersection. There's a fault intersection and the frenzy project. And you can see nicely that that lineament in the magnetics. It's the same lineament we see in the in the topography. Uh, but that lineament goes from mag addition to mag destruction along strike. So there's changes along strike of those lineaments. And this, uh, we can also have a, we can also uh, look at that at the displacement, at the displacement and offset that is generated um, throughout the area in the in the magnetometry. Mm -hmm. So um, the next step is to look at this into more detail and utilize that for um, for targeting. That's an example from the vertical zone where we see a very nice cross. Um, uh, intersection between northwest trending and northeast trending faults generating this mass destructive ring along the vertical zone. So we have a, um, and this is a, an area that we've been focusing uh, in, in, in exploring further. Hmm. So again, fault intersections uh, play a, 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 a big role in our, in our um, exploration um, strategy. <clears throat> So um, once built the map, we we'll try to make, make um, incorporate this, uh, this interpretation into the regional scheme of things. And what we see is as we see a series of uh, similarities with the uh, mineralization in other, in other parts in the, in, 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 in the district. So the, starting by the west, uh, west northwest trending fault system, this, uh, this, is, this is something that we see very clearly, it occurs very clearly in the Golden Saddle deposit. And then I think uh, structures like the northeast trending ones, which are very, um, very important in the late in the late Cretaceous uh, age. So what we believe is is happening um, at this point is that we have an early stage of a uh, um, middle early to middle Jurassic shortening that is a common, that is generating those west north uh, north northwest trending thrust systems that is then being cut by late late Jurassic uh, sinoid transpression. Uh, with these west northwest um, trending fault systems, this is the time of the uh, white gold uh, deposit mineralization, so 100 and about 160 million years um, old, and and then this 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 similar fault, um, similar structural setup is then evolving in the mid Cretaceous into dextral transtension and uh, transtension overall throughout the mid Cretaceous, late Cretaceous, mid Cretaceous in the age of the coffee deposit, late Cretaceous in the, in this, the age of the casino and free gold uh, uh, systems. And then in the late Cretaceous uh, with more polymetallic vein systems like Connor. So it's pretty much a similar structural array which, um, which changes, which gets reactivated through time. And as I, and as I mentioned, um, one of the the, the structures that the, this the structure that arrays are we are more focusing in it's uh, this west, west northwest trending fault systems um, similar features are uh, control demerization and the coffee we have a, a major 
the major fault system in coffee, which is in, in that orientation, has a very similarities to uh, what we see in the Jurassic and then in the Golden Saddle. So we have similar structural arrays acting at different periods of time <clears throat> with, um, within, the, within the overall region. And then that is followed by um, Northwest and Northeast, kind of a, <clears throat> a conjugate array and during the Cretaceous age. This is more magmatic related or hydrothermal, hydrothermal systems um, later on. <clears throat> so um, overall, we're looking um, to explore further um, utilizing the structural, uh, the, the structural arrays, uh, mainly uh, looking at those fault intersections between west-northwest trending fault systems uh, and other fault systems. Uh, this could be the thrust, which are earlier in the in the picture, or it could also be um, northeast trending, northeast trending um, fault systems, uh, younger in age. So we 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 then go and and rank um, those fault intersections by the number of intersections that we have in each of them, and then looking in detail at the magnetometry and geochem. Well, thank you very much for your attention. 